Welcome back. Thank you very much. Let's get my next guest out here. She is a model who recently became Strictly Come Dancing champion and well-deserved it was too. If you didn't see it, and I, I think you probably did, but let's remind ourselves of her in a moment of triumph. the lovely Abby Clancy, hello gentlemen. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Hey, congratulations though on winning Strictly Come Dancing. Thank what you. a great result that was. <laughs> and what a fabulous performance. Uh, were you, I'm, I'm guessing you were a fan of the show before they asked you to do it, were you? I, I was, but I was a bit of a flicker between that and X Factor. Mm. They have asked me to do it for a few years and I just couldn't think of anything worse, to be honest. Humiliate yourself every week on well, telly so you... when you couldn't dance. But <laughs> I don't know, I think after staying at home with my baby for a couple of years, I just felt like I needed a new uh, challenge and yeah. Strictly came up and I thought, why not? A few of my friends have done it and said it was the most amazing thing they've done, so... Does Peter dance? Does Peter? Peter uh, you probably know this, but Abby's married <laughs> to the great footballer Peter Crouch. Uh, does he? He does the robot when he wins a goal, doesn't he? Uh, do they say win a goal when he scores when a he goal? Goes, but he. Uh, you, know, you probably know more than me. I, uh, but he, I know he does it, but does he? Do, he doesn't do that kind of dancing, I guess. Or does he like to dance? You know, Pete was. Pete would love to do the show. He loves to dance, and I used to come home every night and try and teach him. But he's so big. It, it's it's impossible. I'm like Hulk was like that old. I mean, he, he couldn't go on it because he'd have to get like a six foot five girl to dance with him. But have they asked him as well? Have they asked him to do it? I think he couldn't do it. He obviously he's still playing for the Premier League. What Premier team? League, what, Premiership. Teams, what teams he play for now? <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. Stoke. You're <laughs> not joking. You were, you no, didn't know then. No, we do. But you're not. So he came down to support you almost every week, didn't he? Whenever he could. Yeah, he finished the game and then he'd rush okay. down and meet me in the bar. And are you, the, <laughs> are you the same with the football? Do you rush to see him play every week? Can you not wait to get? You up know, to this Stoke season to... I haven't been to one game because wow. Strictly started at the same time. Um, so I, I haven't been. But is that a, a nice excuse for you to have, Abby? No, I, I love going to watch him play. It, it is, I'm not a huge football fan. I've been, my brother's a footballer as well for, uh, for a lower league and my whole childhood have been dragged to football pitches, freezing cold, so it doesn't really... I, I don't love it as much as I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I'm, I'm excited to take Sophia because she really understands now and is excited when she sees her daddy on TV that must be playing. To see That's him. gorgeous, so I can't wait to take her. How old it. is your daughter now? She's two, is that right? She's three next three. month. Okay, and uh, I know some people have given you some flack online about the way you dress her. <laughs> yeah. Is this right? And she, I think she's, the, the, we've got a little picture over here. She's wearing a kind of, it's quite, no, it's quite an unusual outfit. She's definitely got her own style. Yeah. We have absolute but mega. But look at that face. There's no, look you're not, the face. you can't she's mess with her. No, she knows doesn't. what she wants. <laughs> No, every day we have fights because she will not wear anything I pick her up. She won't let me put a brush through her hair. She wants to wear... A favourite thing is you know when they have an accident in nursery and they give them, like, a spare T-shirt? Yeah. She wants to wear it, like, every day for the whole week. <laughs> Sleep in it. She wants to wear it every day, so... I just have to let her go with it, and I think it's nice for her to have her own style, even though it is a bit freedom. wacky. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a nice <laughs> thing. Um, there, oh, there was some speculation that always is. One of the things about Strictly Come Dancing, we all watch it, and you see, obviously, there's a certain intimacy yeah. that goes on. Because you're close to is a good-looking woman with a good-looking man. Ali, was his name? Ali Ash? Your Ali Ash. Okay, and there was speculation, <laughs> oh, my God, there's something happening there. Mm. And that must be, I guess you must know that's going to come up before you even go in, don't you? Yeah, you do. I think it was one of the reservations I had about it really I didn't really want to bring any of that attention home and I was on the launch show I was desperate to have Robin because we had two days rehearsal and we got to dance with all the pros and I, I really connected with Robin and then when I didn't get him I, he got Deborah and I was crying my eyes out and got paired with Ali Ash but after a day of dancing you don't even think of, about anything like that and I know what went on and 
he knows what went on so it's not it's not like that you're just learning to dance and for him he was he was really keen on telling a story through dancing and he wanted it to be believable and you have to play a role like our first dancers Romeo and Juliet was quite awkward did anyone get off with anyone though <laughs> no. Did Deborah get off with anyone? No. <laughs> Did Brucey get off with anyone? Bruce may have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me ask you about the, uh, the various rumours I read about you in the press. Because you get a lot of attention, I guess, because Peter's who he is and because now, you know, you're even better known now. And by the way, did you, did you notice, have people changed in the way they are towards you after Strictly Come Dancing, do you think? Yeah, a few of the cast were like, oh, I thought you'd be a bit of a, bit of a knob in real life, but you know, <laughs> you know, people, <laughs> people are a bit like, oh, God, you're actually all right. Okay, here you go. These are some of the things I read. You've been reading guides on how to speak like a newsreader in an attempt to tone down your Scouse accent. Is that true? <laughs> no, that's okay. not true. Because if it... Scouse and proud. Yeah, because if you were, it's not working. Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they're right. Why should you change? Uh, after Sophia was born, Pete bought you a fat-reducing suit to wear in bed to make you thin again. That was in one of the papers. No, he didn't, but I, what, it, what it is even... What is that? Do they exist? Well, I'm wearing mine right now. <laughs> Uh, you once got stuck on a roller coaster and were screaming for Pete, who was on the ground, as he'd been too tall to go on the ride. That's not true. <laughs> but he must be. I bet he's too tall for some rides. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> How tall is he? Six, seven. Oh, that's too tall. Um, <laughs> you chipped your tooth on the, at the Strictly Rap Party whilst drunkly attempting to eat the Glitter Ball trophy. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's got video evidence filming me in the car going, is it real? And it, I woke up and had half a front tooth. I was like, what the hell? Wow. wow. Well, it's fixed now. <laughs> well, they've done a good job. You sometimes <laughs> lie to Peter about how much money you spent in the shops and put all of your bags into one so he can't see the evidence. <laughs> That's true as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think every girl does that now. No. They do. They do. Everything's twenty pound, and everything just goes in one bag. And what, and what is the bag? Like a big pound shop bag. <laughs> a bin bag. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So um, the, at the moment, I guess in, in terms of sport, in terms of Pete's life, they just had the transfer period, haven't they? Yeah. Is that right? And is that a stressful time to live through? Do you, is that tough for you? I mean, do you worry about what happens in his career? Because sportsmen have a kind of a short career, don't they? Mm. Really, in that yeah. in that area. Like before he went to Stoke, he come home, and he was playing for one team, and then a few hours later, he was on the in the car going up to Stoke for a medical and midnight we were mo moving there the next day. It's, that's, it's, that's kind of weird. That must yeah. be a kind of a weird thing. Uh, but you're but not... it's me. Well, he always goes away then, pre-season, and I have to pack the whole house up and he comes back and it's all laid out again. <laughs> so well, that's, that's harder for me. That, that's why he goes away, pre-season. Yep. That's exactly why that Good is. Good time. He's a lovely guy. I've seen you two together and I was sort of spying on you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You did an Alan Carr show and afterwards, and you were uh, and you were worried about how well it'd gone, and you and you seemed I don't want to be mean, but you seemed kind of needy and a bit worried about it. And he was incredibly supportive, and I could see why it worked so I well. I was drunk that night. You were, so were you? I was very how drunk. How do you remember that? Because I was lying on the floor <laughs> in the taxi, spying on you, <laughs> drunk, <laughs> drinking from one of Peter's boots. <laughs> uh, but that, I guess, is. Uh, is why it was. He's, uh, you know, it's a real. Uh, it, it, you get from him what you need, and he gets from you what no, he needs. No, he's needs. amazing. He's my best friend. He's he supports everything I do, and I support everything he does. And I think the fact we just get on so well is what makes it makes it work. And, and are you going to have one? Yes, go on. <laughs> okay. That's who started that applause? Because yeah, no, no. that was very sweet. You started it for a minute. I thought you were going to be on your own, and I was worried for it. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, are you going to have any more children? Have you got any more plans for that? Now you've got I'd, little I'd, I'd love to have more kids, you know, I'm, I'm one of four. I've always dreamed of myself having a huge family. I've loved every second of having Sophia. It's been just the most amazing time of my life. And, yeah, would love more of it. Well, now there's nothing stopping you. Now's the time, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's in, Dub he's in Dubai now, so... Well, he could, you know, he can come, <laughs> come back for an hour or however long it takes. <laughs> Twelve minutes or something. <laughs> Just once again, congratulations on the win, Thank which you. is so deserved. And I'm so pleased people have seen the real side of you, which is a <laughs> lovely thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby Clancy. <laughs> that was lovely. Thank you so much. Still to come after the break, Mr. Andrew Ma will be out here. Uma Thurman and John Newman performing live. Don't go away.